Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Through the Years. In the last episode we started here in Hoenn and since then it's been like over a week since I recorded. So let's take a quick look at our team because I don't remember exactly uh, what exactly is on our team. Let's start with switch training uh, Zera a little bit. And it's been a while uh, since I've recorded, partly because I've been a little busy, partly because I've not been very much into the mood to record because obviously the whole coronavirus deal has been spreading uh, over the entire planet and like the desk of stuff uh, just like worried <laughs> generally speaking and it started to have effects on me and, and my work and my job as well because people are like a little bit more hesitant to uh, spend money on things like video editors which are far from a um, essential uh, sector <laughs> people are quick to think you know what to save money, we can probably do that ourselves, and to a certain extent, that's true. But to a deeper extent, I mean, if you want to fuck up your content, go ahead and do it yourself, I suppose. Um, why would you want quality content? Especially, especially in a time um, where there's going to be a lot of eyes potentially looking at your content because everybody's stuck at home. I would argue that like, my work becomes fairly important for those people. But I do understand that sometimes, like, people who don't do it full time or whatever, um, they might have less income right now and need to, like, scrap a couple of things um, in their budget. Which, again, I understand that I am one of the first things to go there. But that does have impacts on me and that, that impacts my mood and that, that impacts recordings and I don't want that to impact the recordings. So I've been recording a lot less. Um, mostly been recording a lot of uh, Spotlight and the Kingdom Hearts randomizer series because that's less dependent on my mood and like my commentary and more so on the game itself, which is at this moment, uh, that's not good for me. That, that's real not good for me. <laughs> um, at this moment, uh, for like my general mood is a good idea, but right now it's the day episode um, the first episode of Hone is going up, and I don't have any more episodes yet. And this episode I'm recording right now has to go up in like three days. So it's really, it, it is time to start recording a little bit more. On top of that, there's probably going to be a couple of more jump cuts in this video than usually, which means that there's going to be, well, usually I don't really do jump cuts in these videos. So there's going to be maybe a couple of jump cuts in these videos because I've been coughing a little bit myself, and that could be a cold, that could be mild symptoms of the virus. Uh, I frankly don't know. It's not bad enough uh, for me to go to the doctor, yeah. Um, which that is not just me thinking, oh, it's not that bad. That's literally the guidelines my government has like published. Like, If you experience this, this and this, you don't go to the doctor yet. Only when this, this and this gets added on top of that, you should go to the doctor. I am not at that moment at that level, so oh, I'm going to be in trouble here, fuck. Uh, so I'm not going to the doctor yet, and I'm uh, probably, even if it is the virus, uh, I'll probably be fine. But it does mean that, like, my breathing is a little bit more difficult, and um, when I, when I, like, do stuff physically, like, I've been cleaning my room a little bit and walking up and down the stairs and stuff, and I, I found that when I sat down, I had a little bit of difficulty breathing. <laughs> That's what I mean. Uh, and I've been coughing a little bit. Damn it. Damn it. And this is not even a, a, a like a ramped up trainer. This is just like... Damn it. Also, this... Uh, hang on a moment. My face cam needs to go a little bit to that direction. Okay, there we are again. Uh, I hadn't noticed my face cam was off-center yet. I, I don't know why it was off-center, because I haven't touched the, the tripod at all since my last recording. I did, actually, for a live stream. Uh, I guess that means that now I'm alive. God damn it! Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna get wiped here, uh, which means that we are getting three Pokemon from the box after this, which all are level five. But at least... At least we'll be able to 
can use Auron Berries. I can still use Auron Berries. At least we'll be able to make a team which... Ah, it's only 10 HP. That's not a lot. It's, it should be enough. That should be enough. Hmm. This is gonna be tricky. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, that, that almost did 10 HP damage. That's that's not good at all. Look. I'm gonna run out of Oran Berry sooner or later. <laughs> and that's right now. I'm running out of Oran Berry. Oh, you're using Tail Whip. So I guess we We'd rather sacrifice Zera and keep Roger alive, right? I think we... Yeah, I think that's the priority at least. Uh, but as a result of all of that, uh, maybe the episodes this week and next week are going to be slightly shorter as well. Just because uh, I, I, I can't do as much as I would like, uh, talking-wise. It's probably not going to be that big of an issue, but I just want to get that out of the way. That, that's a thing that's happening, and Zara is that as well. Honestly, I'm not as sad as I was with Rami. But I feel like Roger might not survive either. Honestly. I need to get, like, a critical hit here, please. Or to burn you. If I could burn you, that would be fantastic as well. Like this dude. Maybe with min max damage I can take you out. If I'm lucky. I outspeed you, so please die. Okay, okay. We're still in the running. We're still in the running. Roger's level 12. <laughs> that was not a fun way to get back into uh, Pokemon through the years. Especially since I am sick. <laughs> Hello is just the beginning of goodbye. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I just had to say goodbye to two of my team members in the second episode of this region. Which means that, yes, I am going to replace those team members with things from the box, because that is the entire premise about Pokemon through the years, isn't it? And I will have to uh, choose a little bit here, because I've got a box and a half full of Pokemon. But first and foremost, Zera and Remy joined the dad box, which means that we already have two deaths in, in Gen 3. Gen 3 always, for some reason, is difficult for me. Uh, let's see. Midna, I want to keep uh, alive until Gen 4 because Sneasel, not that good. Weavile, a lot better. Um, the same kind of goes for Spaghetti where possible. But then... I mean... I have a water type. I have a fi uh, fire and fighting type. So a water type wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So let's bring Bob. And then I suppose I also want a grass type. Just to get that like trio sorted out. Which probably... Let's keep it with three starters. Let's keep it with the starters and have... We have a starter of each generation we've gone through so far. We've got Roger, we've got Bob and we've got Pat Food. Which I think is... Should be good enough. Am I going to do switch training? Like... Do Bob and... They both have 20 HP. That's interesting. Um, Let's lead with Pat Food. I'm going to do a little bit of switch training uh, here during the recording. Usually I wouldn't do that, but we're early on in the game and... The team will be continuously evolving. And this is going to be... Like the first couple of episodes of any region are usually going to be the only episodes where evolutions even happen on screen which um as soon as we get to like the second or third gym and i have to do some like more major grinding most evolutions are probably going to happen off screen so i might as well try to get some leveling happening on screen here paddleberg woods first and foremost we need a encounter here a pokemon encounter for paddleberg woods is going to be in this case a nose pass Huh. I guess we're getting a rock type as well. And this is perfect for Pat. Oh. That's true. <laughs> All the Pokemon in the box only have pound. Did I mention that in the last episode? I didn't include the move sets. Um if I mentioned it already, I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself. But I'm gonna say it again. Um uh, I didn't 
add the movesets for every single Pokemon, uh, because that would be a lot of work. And uh, like this, every single Pokemon... I guess I do need to go into Roger because of that. But like this, every single Pokemon can easily be imported into uh, later generations, and if need be, I'll uh, Pokéax the moves onto the Pokemon when uh, that becomes relevant. I just got a text, which I forgot all about. Uh, muting. It's not important. Uh, I, I, I guess Scratch. You can take another Amber. You can take another Amber. So yeah, uh, but let's mute it now just in case. <laughs> Actually. Um, yeah, that's muted. Good. Um, and I wasn't going to do that for like 45 Pokemon. Uh, go into their Bulbapedia page, go specifically to the Gen 3 learn sets and see what their moves are. Do that, apply, and do that like 40 times over and over and over and over again. I just wasn't going to do that. So, um, mostly, most Pokemon start with a move like Pound or Scratch or Tackle anyway. So, I think that's fair. Uh, some Pokemon might be missing out on some moves, like uh, Magikarp, for, for instance, has Pound now, rather than Splash. But that's only going to matter for the first two or three gyms as well, because if we are, like, the fifth or sixth gym, you know, we need to switch out a Pokemon, I need to grind it up to, like, level 30 or 40 anyway, at which point it wouldn't have its level 5 moves at all anyway. So, it's not gonna matter too much. Um, I'm going to call you... Um, I'm gonna call you Easter, just because Easter Island, that's, that's where you're based on, aren't you? I don't know if it's called, uh, if it's spelled the same as like, the holiday Easter, I think it is. I can't be sure though. Um, let's go back and heal up again. Just because I am very paranoid about losing more Pokemon. I, I just lost two Pokemon this this episode. I don't want to lose more than two Pokemon, if at all possible. And so far, I think we're about like 15 minutes in, and I haven't really had any like major coughing breaks yet. That being said, I do feel one coming up, so I'm going to cut ahead until we're back in Battle of Woods. I am annoyed. I am annoyed. At least you'll give me decent experience, won't you? I don't think you will, actually. Because I remember Celebi in the last generation not giving me a lot of experience. So I doubt that you were going to give a lot more. I guess we'll just kill it, just in case. It's probably going to give more experience than the freaking Girafferix around here. But it's probably not going to be that much more. But yeah, this is, uh, this is a possible encounter on uh, Route... What route is that? Like, 104? The, the one before Paddleburg Woods. Uh, where we got Girafferic. And it's just 18 experience uh, per Pokemon. So that's 36 in total. It's not that much. I am scared now. I I'm legitimately quite scared about what's going to happen here. Especially since I am Switch training. Which uh, is... I'm partly doing to keep things interesting. And partly because I don't want to have just Roger. And... It would be very useful right about now <laughs> if you had something like... Even Absorb would be... That actually does way more damage than I thought it would. Even though Rumor is just level 3, I didn't think Pound would do that much damage. Something like Absorb or Vine Whip, which I don't think you get Vine Whip until like level 12, so that's not going to happen anytime soon, would be fairly nice at this point. Because there's no reason for me to have a Water and a Grass type if they don't have a Water and a Grass type move. So that is uh, potentially an issue in this episode. Between this episode and the next episode, I'm definitely going to do a little bit of grinding. Just to get everybody up to the level we need to be uh, to take on the first gym, which... I don't know what it'll be, but it'll probably be... I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, I think it's like level 10, 12-ish uh, should be good. And since it's... As far as I understand, going to be a full team with um, IV Brad Pokemon. I, I'm going to go to that level. I'm going to go to her highest level Pokemon with my entire team. Because I think you do need that to be prepared. So, by that point, uh, I'll probably have the type of diversity I need to deal with it. But for the time being, oh my god. Again, would have been nice if I had actually gotten a grass type move here. Also, 
I think all of my Pokemon might all be male, <laughs> because uh, all that do have genders, that is. Because I don't think I specifically uh, changed any genders, and the default is male for most Pokemon, I think. Uh, that might be based on their, like, Pokemon ID, though, which I did randomize, in which case uh, it is a 50-50 thing, but I'm not entirely sure. I know the shininess has something to do with the Pokemon ID, which... When I randomized that, Pokemon went from shiny to non-shiny, and the other way around sometimes. So, well, not the other way around, because it's literally a button for that in, uh, in Pokéx. So, that's not that big of an issue. I didn't know Tickle... Oh, that's a different... Okay, again, I'm, I'm not a 100% capacity. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't know Tickle was a, a move that existed in this generation, but I was thinking of Play Nice. Okay, at least we got Leechy. That's something. It actually doesn't matter at all because that doesn't do super effective damage. But, you know, unknown? I'll take it. You're an unknown E. Does that matter to me? Not really. I'm gonna sneeze in a moment here. Am I? No, I'm not. Do you? I hate that. When you, when you can feel a sneeze existing in your nose and you're like, man, I just, I just need to sneeze and it just, it just won't happen. It's really annoying. Fucking hate it. I guess there's nothing we can do about it though, so for the rest of this episode I'm going to feel like I have to sneeze. And I don't think we'll have enough time to get to, uh, through Paddleburg Woods like this, so maybe I'll record two episodes and then grind for the third episode? I, I don't know. I don't really want to record two episodes back to back at the moment. Usually I record two or three episodes back to back. I don't think I want to do that right now, because I might, like, literally... No, well, we won't literally die because of that, but I, I won't feel very good about myself afterwards, probably. Well, I'll feel very good about myself, but my body will not feel very good about me. Uh, which... That then comes into, like, an entire argument about, are you your brain? Are you your entirety? What is you? That's a philosophical argument that I'm not willing to get into right now. <laughs> so let's get into it. Uh, no, no, we're not. Um, let's let's check out the team real quickly. Okay, so Patford is now level 8 as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to switch out for Bob. Because I think Bob might get, like, Water Gun on a... Somewhat earlier level than Patford would get Vine Whip, and Patford now does have Leech Seed, which is at least somewhat useful of a move. Uh, not a very useful move. Also, I, I think um, I have a running nose, which is... I can't escape! And you deal a decent amount of damage. How much damage do I deal against you? You outspeed me. That's not good. Um... Also, I don't have any potions anymore, so we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center right after this immediately again, because I'm not dealing with this. Without any potions, anyway. I think five potions should be enough. Probably will be enough. Maybe won't be enough, but I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be enough. So, we have five potions now. We are healed back up, because, well, if we're going back to town, we might as well. And uh, we are running into... Celio. I'll have to get away from you because you were a lot slower than Farfetch, so I can actually get away from you. Uh, again, I don't think we're going to go through Pedalburg Woods. We might. We might. I, I don't know. I don't know how many trainers there actually are in Pedalburg Woods. There's obviously the uh, team. I think it's Aqua in this game uh, encounter you have here, which uh, could potentially be an issue. Because I don't know if that's been modified. I, I'm going to assume that I think only the the admin fights have been modified. Um, as in, of course, this is randomized, but made more difficult. Um, I think it's only been the admin fight, not all the grunts as well. But this might count as a special fight because it's not just a grunt inside the base or something like that. We're going to see. We're going to see. This is Team Aqua. This is going to be a difficult fight because I fucking hope it won't. Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle. It's just a Team Aqua Grunt. Starts with a level 9 Fanfi. That's not very good for me. Uh, Fanfi, luckily, not that powerful. 
uh, but I am going to lead to you. Because I don't want to go into Roger if I can help it. Because I don't know if you have any rock type moves. I doubt you will. I very much doubt you will. You probably don't, right? Or ground type moves for that matter. Uh, but I don't think there's any like weak damaging ground type moves. So at level 9 you definitely wouldn't have any. But come to think of it, rock type moves, like what would you even have at level 9 as far as rock type moves go? Like... Rock throw? Probably not. You could have rock smash, which isn't a rock type move. So that really doesn't matter to me. You probably only have like, yeah, tackle and growl at the moment. So it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, on top of that, we kind of want the experience to go to our path food and Bob and I suppose Easter to a certain extent. Uh, which I really should check out his moveset as well. Because you might actually have a, a rock type move I wasn't thinking about, uh, which would be nice to at least know that we have in the party. So let's check out Easter, which is our first female Pokemon of, uh, of the team, at least the ones that are alive right now. And you have only Tackle. So you're going to sit back for a little while because I don't really care about you, to be honest. Fan phase should be done after this leech seed. I love leech seed. Uh, it, it's... No. <laughs> At least Pound took it out. That's fine as well. That's a... That's a lot of experience. That's a lot of it. I like that. Learn Rage. Rage is actually a good move. I forgot that you learn Rage. It's... I don't know if it still is, but it used to be uh, the reason that you would go... Oh, you only have one Pokemon. Okay, that's anticlimactic. Uh, Rage used to be the reason that in Gen 2 speedruns you'd take uh, Totodile as your starter because you only use one Pokemon generally in most speedruns. And then um, obviously you have like HM slaves. But for battling you only use one Pokemon generally. And uh, that means that you're going to get hit a lot. And if you use Rage every time you get hit, your moves get more powerful. Or at least that move gets more powerful. So, Rage is actually a fairly good move for speedrunning purposes, apparently. But, uh, not... Not anymore, maybe. I haven't really checked out any speedruns of, uh, of Gen 2, or any Pokemon game for that matter, in a little while. So, maybe that's outdated information, and... Fucking hate Q Charm, because I only have male Pokemon. You know what? You can go fuck yourself. I'm going to fight this dude instead. Uh, I just realized, by the way... There's no way we're getting uh, to Pelabook City. Oh, th that was Pelabook City. Um, what's the, the, the town, the, the city after this? I, I don't remember. I really do not remember. <laughs> I don't remember what uh, Roxanne's city is called. It's not Rosboro. It's been a while since I played Gen 3. Can you tell? Um. So... We're not going to get to that because there's going to be a, a double battle on that bridge as well, which I want to prepare for. And just generally, there's quite a lot of stuff left to do. And I think we are... Uh, maybe... I don't know what he's switching into, so I'm going to stay safe with Roger. Uh, Quillfish. You know what? Ah, you might have Poison Point. You have Poison Sting, which is the next best thing, I suppose. You know what? I, I had to cut out like a couple of... Um, a, a, you do have Poison Point. Damn it. Uh, I had to couple, cut out a couple of things and I started recording a little bit late because I my controller didn't work and stuff. So my recording is at 30 minutes right now. I think we the episode itself might be at like 27. Eh, probably more like 26 even. So let's use a Pachaberry and let's keep going because I think there's only one battle we have to do after this. So we can make it to the next city, which might be Rosbro that I'm thinking about. I don't know. I really don't know. And we already have a Dratini. Uh, we don't have a Dratini because we have a Dragonair, which I didn't jam back into a Dratini because it's already dead. That's, uh, that's why we didn't see a Dratini there. Um... And there's also going to be an opportunity to catch a new Pokemon, maybe on this route, because it's around 104. 
And there definitely is an opportunity to catch another Pokemon here. So let's do that this episode. Maybe this episode is going to be a little bit longer. Um, even though at the beginning of this episode, I said the episode this week might be a little bit shorter. Uh, this one clearly is not. I remember there being a lot of like myths about this patch of grass back here because a lot of kids back in the day didn't find it. And it's like, you can get Mewtwo or you can get Missing No here and that kind of bullshit. And um, at some point, some kids, at least in my school, figured out that you can use Cut to cut that. <sighs> Does this mean... Wait a second, is this the same catch list as... I'm gonna catch this Mew. I'm gonna try to catch this Mew. I probably won't actually catch it because I only got Great Balls. Um, I'm gonna catch this Mew. And then I'm gonna go back to see if the other plays also in Route 104. If it is, I'm gonna release the Mew again. Uh, because this, this feels like it could be the same catch list as the one before. But let's see. I think a Great Ball is my best option to just go right away with. I, again, I doubt that we're actually going to get this Mew. I very much doubt it. So close! We got so close! That was that was our best chance. That Great Ball was our best chance. This literally has like a 50% lower chance of even working. So... Still, there's a decent chance that it works. There's a decent chance. Not a good one, but not a horrible one either, I'd say. We've got three balls left after there's two balls. If you don't say in this one, we only got one ball left. Okay, so this is our last Pokeball. I know that I'm putting Bob in a lot of danger here, by the way. But that just incentivizes... I don't even want to kill it. I don't even want to kill it. So, I'm going to go back and heal up. <laughs> because Bob almost died there. But I also want to know, uh, I think that was a, like the same route as down here anyway. Yeah, it's both run, uh, 104. So I couldn't have caught and or used it anyway. So, let's go heal up and I'll see you back at the other side of Paddlebuck Woods again. Also, I need to cough. Back here around 104, I'm going to try to avoid all of the other trainer battles here. Um, mostly because I just want to get to... Okay, we're just going to annihilate you very quickly, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to abuse the speed button a little bit for that. I'm, I'm very sorry. I just want to get this over with and I want to be able to grind for next episode. I don't want to... Because if I can't grind now... Oh my god. It doesn't matter because I can't... It doesn't matter, actually. It doesn't matter. It, it literally does not matter. Uh, other than the fact that maybe it's a... There's, there's better Pokemon around the, the, the part of North to, to grind against, potentially. But that, that's really the only difference. And I, I'm not going to get that far in because again, there's like a cutscene as well there. So, you know what? We're ending this episode here today. And next episode is just going to be a shorter episode where we do all the side quest stuff before the gym. Uh, because I think you can do that, or slash are supposed to do that before the gym. And then the, uh, the episode after that, we're going to go into the gym. So I'm going to end it here. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next time, I'm a vlogger. You've been awesome. As always, bye.